He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, this is going to be one of the most powerful broadcasts we've ever done, the most jam-packed. Years ago, I'd say that probably once a year. Now, every month or so, I say this is going to perhaps be one of the most important broadcasts ever because everything is happening right now. The world government's being announced. The dollar's being killed. The austerity is being brought in as all of our tax money goes to the offshore banks. It is all happening right now. Coming up in about 22 minutes from now, bombshell FEMA camps confirmed by Jesse Ventura's Conspiracy Theory Show proves FEMA camps exist for American citizens in new episode that airs Friday, November 12th at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central on True TV. And we have a detailed article by Aaron Dykes in a video I shot last night. I was authorized uh, to talk about this today. Normally, they don't want us to talk about anything that's on the show. I'm a consultant. And also, I think I'm appearing in four or five of the episodes. Uh, so now all the episodes coming up. Uh, we're going to have Tyrell Ventura, who works on the show, his son, uh, joining us. They were talking to me about getting Ventura on next week about the JFK. That's his favorite episode. They believe this is the most powerful and, and important and newsworthy. Remember, right as Climate Gate broke last year, Ventura's special on that with yours truly in it came out saying all the same info, even though it had been shot months before. And that made national news. It was major breaking news. They got Santer, the head of the UN program, to admit that they falsified reports. Uh, and the media was still trying to, to deny it at that point, but the Santer info, uh, you know, really put the cherry on top uh, of that situation. So that's coming up. Max Kaiser coming on about the economy and what's happening as well in about an hour and a half. I talked to Rand Paul's people today. He has been totally slammed with national media, but he is coming on either tomorrow or maybe next week, if not the next, because he's got to be in uh, Senate ethics training because he's never been in politics. And he's a new senator. He's got to learn all the rules and the decorum and all the rest of the garbage all next week. But they're, they're trying today, tomorrow, uh, Sunday, or then the next week. But we talked to him. They apologize that they've been really busy, but they do want to come on the show. I could have already had him on for 10 minutes, but I want an extended at least 30-minute to an hour interview with Rand Paul. Uh, so that is uh, being prepared right now, getting that lined up. So Jesse Ventura confirms FEMA camps, threat fusion centers as the domestic spy grid. Those details uh, are up at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Uh, Drudge is top linked to us again. Top link on Drudge. Drudge stirs national debate on TSA abuse. I've never really written an article about Matt Drudge, but that was my plan yesterday was to point out that he forced this into the mainstream and now it is everywhere. And Atlantic Monthly has an article where they talk to TSA people. And the big joke is they call the naked body scanners the male member measurement system. They use a vulgar term I can't use on radio. And I hate to talk about stuff like this, but it's happening to our wives, our husbands, our children our sons, our daughters, so we have to discuss it. There is a huge backlash, and uh, there's also another headline up there, backlash grows over TSA's naked strip search, CBS News from CNET. So this is a huge issue, hundreds of articles a day, as it comes out that they let illegal aliens go through without the pat-downs, that they let illegal aliens rent planes, that they have illegal aliens and pedophiles working as TSA agents. This is all breaking now. It's coming out that Chertoff's making the money as the CEO of the Naked Body comp Company. They admitted to Atlantic Monthly, uh, to Jeff Goldberg, he's such an insider, that they are doing this to intimidate you. They admit it, to intimidate people to make them submit to the Naked Body Scanners. So that's confirmed. It's confirmed they're recording the images. They have TSA in another room watching it and laughing and printing off uh, printouts of it. Uh, incredible report. Uh, that is up right now, right now at PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars.com. Drudge stirs national debate on TSA probe, and it's got all the new info from Atlantic Monthly uh, about the male member measurement system. Uh, they use a different term. You can read it from Atlantic Monthly, prestigious publication uh, with Jeff Goldberg uh, right there on that front. I mean, this is unbelievable. It's worse than we thought. So we've got the FEMA cams confirmed info breaking. 
uh, we've got uh, the incredible economic developments in the G20 meeting right now in Seoul, South Korea, yesterday and today. Uh, we've got students' fees protest. This is just the beginning. Confirmed government provocateurs uh, trying to make the peaceful protesters look bad. And now the British Prime Minister is calling for restricting protesting in England, like Nazi Germany, in the name of stopping violence. We have British Ministry of, Report, uh, Ministry of Defense reports from three years ago predicting all of this. They are staging it. Here's the mail, the Daily Mail, hijacking of a very middle-class protest. Anarchists cause chaos as 50,000 students take to the streets over fees. Kurt Nemo's article, uh, agent provocateurs turn tuition protest into violent melee. Uh, it's all coming up today. But I'm going to talk about Glenn Beck some, and I'm going to do it in two parts. I don't really have time to watch him much, but uh, my, my film crew has been watching him every day in the last few months up until a few weeks ago when I made the decision to not make the Glenn Beck deception. I don't trust Glenn Beck. Uh, I don't particularly like him. I don't like the fact that he says Ron Paul supporters might want to blow up buildings, that the army might need to be used against us two years ago. I don't like the fact that he says if you question government-sponsored terror, that you work for George Soros, when Media Matters and all of Soros's outfits are even more anti-9-11 truth uh, than, than Beck is. I don't like his intellectual dishonesty. I don't like him denying the FEMA camps when we send him all the info. I've confirmed now by three high-level Fox people uh, that Glenn Beck, for at least two years, has five people at his Mercury Media outfit. He produces his own show, watching everything we do and taking it. People now have really noticed this. But in a way, it's good to get the info out. I just don't like him spinning it into a neoconish way, neoconish direction. Like liberals are the, are the source of all evil and conservatives are good. Th there aren't real conservatives in many areas of government. They're globalists as well. They're, quote, progressives in conservative clothing. But more and more, because he's getting more hardcore about eugenics, poison in the water, lithium, brainwashing, uh, government tyranny, it's doing more good than harm, and he's going in the right direction. So my film, even though it'd be a great seller and get a bunch of attention, uh, it's not going to be about Glenn Beck. He'll be part of it. Uh, and I'm sure he'll probably betray us down the road. I don't, again, I don't trust him. But this news I have is so big, I, I, I can hardly speak right now. Uh, now, I'm mad at Beck on one front, and later in the show, in fact, in the last 30 minutes, I will reveal the real puppet masters. Okay, and we always get up here and talk about puppets, and I've had puppets on the show and talked about why are we looking at the puppets instead of the strings and the guy holding them. And there's Beck again, you know, doing the same thing. For a month, building it up, he was going to tell you today who the puppet masters are, and it's on his website. He says it's George Soros. That was not hard to predict. And Soros is calling for global taxes, global government, but so is Bernanke, so is Paulson, so is all these guys. Soros is high level, but he's not at the pyramid capstone level. He's that management group right below it, like a Henry Kissinger or a George Shultz or a Zbigny Brzezinski. Brzezinski's above uh, Soros, probably even above Kissinger at certain levels from my studying. I will reveal the real puppet masters in two hours and 15 minutes, okay? So Beck says, as I predicted two weeks ago, it's George Soros. Give me a break, okay? Give me a break. But he did something this morning. He did it last night. I didn't watch. I came in at, at, at 7.30 in the morning. Matt Ryan was already here, and he said, you got to see this. You've got to to see this. And uh, I'm just going to play it first, then come back from break and comment. But the prisonplanet.com headline, again, my trust in Beck was at 20%, then at 40, 50, 60. It's gone to 70, 80% right now. And you know why? Beck realizes he's in danger. He realized he's playing in an in a arena at a level that is incredibly dangerous. And he's listening to this show. We have written about top Clinton official, only a terror attack can save America. Uh, Clintonite, Obama needs OKC bombing to reconnect with the American people. We've been writing about this for three months. And how they're going to stage in Oklahoma City and blame it on the Patriot Movement and, yes, Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck has come out and talked about government-sponsored terrorism. 
and how they're going to blame it on him and me and others. You want, folks, this is big. Prison Planet headline. Get it to all the neocons you know that get mad if you talk about government-sponsored terror. Glenn Beck, government preparing to stage terror. This is big. Here's the clip. Why does the left need this violence? Well, listen to a clip from a Democratic pollster, Mark Penn, happened just the other day, and yet no one pays attention to it. How can the left win the country? Watch. Cabinets don't, don't really sell things. The president himself has to reconnect with the people. Remember, President Clinton reconnected through Oklahoma, yeah. right? And the president right because now, the he seems removed. And it wasn't until that speech that he re clicked with the American public. Obama needs a similar, a similar kind of You think of words will work for... Obama needs a similar kind of event. Oh, well, like Oklahoma City. If only Barack Obama could have the opportunity to speak to America after another Oklahoma City type event, then he'll politically be in good shape. Wow. Now, according to Drummond Pike, the founder of Tides, who, Drummond, I hope you watch this week because, oh, it's all coming undone this week. I will be the guy who causes the next Oklahoma City. This is in a letter, an appeal to advertisers uh, of Fox, dear Fox advertisers, read this part of it. No one, left, right, center, wants to see another Oklahoma City. The next assassin may succeed. If so, there will be blood on many hands. They are setting up another Oklahoma City. They are claiming that one is coming, and they've already marked the one who caused it. But don't you miss Wednesday's show when All I right. show you violence right. and the pressure... And he goes on. So there it is. Glenn Beck, they are planning in Oklahoma City. Hey, it isn't George Soros, buddy pal. And it isn't the Tides Foundation. Oh, they're evil globalists. You want to know who did Oklahoma City? The federal government. We'll be right back. Obama needs a similar kind of event. Oh, well, like Oklahoma City. If only Barack Obama could have the opportunity to speak to America after another Oklahoma City type event, then he'll politically be in good shape. Wow. Now, according to Drummond Pike, the founder of Tides, who, Drummond, I hope you watch this week because, oh, it's all coming undone this week. I will be the guy who causes the next Oklahoma City. This is in a letter, an appeal to advertisers uh, of Fox, dear Fox advertisers, read this part of it. No one, left, right, center, wants to see another Oklahoma City. The next assassin may succeed. If so, there will be blood on many hands. They are setting up another Oklahoma City. They are claiming that one is coming, and they've already marked the one who caused it. Okay. And he goes on, the full video clip is in Glenn Beck, government preparing to stage terror. We also have Michael Savage saying the same thing. This is a big deal. This is the main lining of stage terror. But it's not going to be the Tides Foundation or George Soros. You had to pick a group, the Southern Poverty Law Center. It came out in FBI memos that people had to sue to get. And uh, they sued and the government blacked out certain areas. In another lawsuit, they blacked out other areas. Jesse Trinidad, the lawyer, this was in major news a few years ago, was able to put both of the same memo together and read the whole memo. And the Southern Poverty Law Center, that's why they hate me so much I talk about this, was in there running Elohim City and McVeigh. And we also have the ATF informant uh, inside there, and they later tried to indict her to shut her up, and she came out and said the same thing. It's just like the FBI with the latest uh, Muslims uh, in D.C. I mean, it came out. They went and created the group. The FBI was leading it, commanding them to stage the terror attack. Same thing, 1993. New York Times, CBS News, they released the audio tapes with the FBI cooking the bomb, training the driver, finding the people, going forward, letting the bombing take place. I mean, these are just facts. Gulf of Tonkin is a fact. Northwoods is a fact. I just cover the truth. Okay, and we're apolitical here, except that we want liberty and freedom, but we're not partisan. Now, I'm having a real dialogue through the show with Glenn Beck right now. His people are listening right now. And I put it out a year ago, and I put it out six months ago, and a few months ago. I said, Glenn, talk about fluoride in the water. Talk about lithium in the water. Talk about eugenics. Talk about world government for extermination purposes. Talk about it. 
And he did do that. Talk about Goldman Sachs. Talk about the, the, the Federal Reserve. He did that. Talk about Woodrow Wilson. He did that. Literally, he's programming his show off of this broadcast and getting better and better. He's a weasel in the past. I don't trust him. I don't trust you, Glenn. But you finally got it. They are going to stage in Oklahoma City, and only by exposing, as I've been saying for over a year, only by exposing it, and I exposed the whole Hatari thing seven months before it happened. I said, they will set up Hatari militia. I could tell by watching their videos they had feds inside. The way it was produced, the way they were dressing, the way they had the guy up there like a dictator with a guy behind him. I, I knew it. Out of 400 militias, I said, that's it. I understand this. I eat, drink, and sleep it. And so I, I should be flattered. They say imitation is the greatest you know, form of, of, uh, of, of uh, flattery. It's the biggest compliment. But I can find no fault with what he's doing other than the fact of saying that the Tides Foundation and George Soros are the king puppet masters and that they are getting ready to stage a new Oklahoma City. Man, he is bold. He went out to 3 million viewers yesterday. I looked up the ratings this morning. 3 million viewers on his radio show, 10 million listeners. That's 13 million people. And he talked about elements of the government blowing up another Oklahoma City. That is news. That is big. As I've been telling you all week, even if a lot of these Tea Party people aren't for real that just got into office, they've been forced to act like us. It shows our information is now mainline. And that is half the battle, ladies and gentlemen. So this is very, very exciting. You notice he played the very video clip that we played uh, last week and then again on Monday of Clintonite. says Obama needs Oklahoma City bombing to reconnect with the American people. Democratic operative Mark Penn said that on national television. Beck played the exact same YouTube clip we played five, six days later. Uh, we wrote the stories, of course, about this. Uh, we wrote the original story talking about the Financial Times of London where Robert Shapiro said without an Oklahoma City or without a new 9-11, that's in the article, Obama faces growing credibility crisis. Without that, they're done. Absolutely, Glenn. Welcome to the club. They think you're so stupid, I'm so stupid, our listeners and viewers are so stupid that, that they can openly talk about how great terrorism would be for them and you see them getting ready to set you up, me up and many others, and you're doing the only thing you can coming out and telling the truth or they're going to pin you with the bombing, the, the mass shooting, the airline hijackings that they're going to blame on white Al-Qaeda. This is big, big, big news. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. It's scary to be having this big of an effect thanks to our millions of patriot, hardcore activist listeners. That's the power of this broadcast. That's why Rick Perry last year told a Fox News executive that he's worried about Ron Paul and Alex Jones. Now, of course, Rand Paul, they're scared of any real patriot. That's, they're scared because we're showing people reality. We're getting people to face the facts. And if the New World Order loses its stage terror card, they lose a lot of their power to be able to stage events and pose as our saviors. And it is such a big deal to have Glenn Beck come out and say, government preparing to stage terror. Glenn Beck, government preparing to stage terror. And that's the prisonplanet.com headline. I want to get Kurt Nemo on the InfoWars version to say Glenn Beck, government preparing to stage Oklahoma City style attack or something like that. But the point is, this is so big. Because now, how is Glenn going to make fun of people that talk about 9-11 being an inside job? How are you going to do that, Glenn? I know it's a religion to hate Muslims, and, uh, but then the government's always protecting radical Muslims. And Anwar al Fox News reports, is hanging out secretly at the Pentagon. These are the real issues. I mean, I'm not supposed to cover that? 
I'm supposed to go, oh, no, our government's not involved when all the evidence is our government was taken over by offshore interest. The same big mega banks that finance George Soros who attacks you and I, Glenn, every day. By the way, uh, there is a, another uh, attack piece uh, in the news from Media Matters. They're not only attacking Glenn for talking about government-sponsored terror. They've got another uh, report there. And it says, Fox News' most prominent birther interviewed by nation's most prominent truther. It talks about Lou Dobbs coming back on the show. Uh, and it says, apparently not put off by Jones' promotion of things like 9-11 truthism, Dobbs joined him on his radio show last month. Jones introduced Dobbs by saying he was shown the door by CNN because he wouldn't compromise on Barry Sotero and the open borders. As Jones' website explains, Barry Sotero is the birther code word and instrumental to exposing important keys to Obama's true history. Far from being contentious interview, the two spoke mostly in harmony about things like one world government. During the interview, Jones even correctly predicted that Dobbs would end up at the Fox Business Network. Well, I pr correctly predicted it because I already knew it from inside Fox. Hey, Glenn, I got people inside Mercury. I got people inside Fox. I know exactly what you're doing. I can pick the telephone up anytime I want, and I'm so busy I don't do it very often, and find out exactly what you're doing. Now, the good news is, buddy, you are getting hardcore, and you know you had to because they're getting ready to blow something up and blame it on you, buddy, along with myself and others. And they're so arrogant, they're all over TV bragging about it. We got Tyrell Ventura coming up. I want to play this little five-minute video, but later when Max Kaiser's on, I'm getting into the economy. I'm getting into uh, who the real puppet masters are since Beck didn't tell you. He told you it was Soros. That's a guy way down the totem pole on the left wing of this buzzard, this, this, this carrion crow, this, this filth eater that is the New World Order. Uh, we're going to go over all of this, but this is big news. Get this out to everybody. Now, I want to do a Google search term today because this is groundbreaking big news. FEMA camps, F-E-M-A is one word, is the acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA camps, those are the two words. Let's send it to number one. So people read this article by Aaron Dykes in the video, breaking down the real FEMA camps and how they're confirmed. FEMA camps is the search term. FEMA camps, F-E-M-A camps, FEMA camps. That's the search term today. And I also want to make the search term Stage terror number two, so it leads into this article about Glenn Beck. Stage terror and FEMA camps. Those are the search terms. Stage terror and FEMA camps. We've done stage terror before, so they may try to block that. So enter it into Google over and over again. FEMA camps is one, stage terror is the other. Now here's this video where I break down some of what you're about to hear from Tyrell Ventura coming up in five minutes. Here's the video. <laughs> My friends, we've got a big announcement for you. You know, there's been a lot of controversies dealing with FEMA camps, concentration camps, internment camps inside the United States. Well, a few months ago, I was involved in the production of True TV's Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura, and we traveled to Georgia, Texas, you name it and confirmed the existence of real FEMA camps and how they tie in to the entire continuity of government system and how these camps are being planned for the American people. I have been authorized to give you a sneak peek view into what's going to be covered on this show. You have no idea what people are doing right under your nose. What in the hell is that? This is the show they don't want you to see. Conspiracy theory. You won't believe what you don't know. The only season on True TV. This is groundbreaking information. They go and talk to two different members of Congress who authored the Emergency Centers Act that creates these camps for the American people and they got bizarre answers. One congressman ducked questions, the other said, well, these are camps for happy children. You cannot make up the craziness of this. Ventura and I went out to Georgia, outside Atlanta, to the famous uh, FEMA coffin facility. As we show up, we're told by locals that scores of 18-wheelers had been there taking the plastic coffin liners away, but we caught some of them still in place. 
This is an amazing documentary. And it also gets into former FBI agents and whistleblowers uh, talking about the continuity of government program, how the threat fusion centers are federalizing local police and are spying on the American people for their political views. You know, over a year ago, I was sent my law enforcement the Homeland Security secret reports where they admit 95% or more of the surveillance and training for Homeland Security deals with conservatives, libertarians, gun owners. This has nothing to do with turbaned men in caves and everything to do with dominating and controlling the American people as we go into this contrived depression. World government is here and they've used terrorism as the pretext to put this straitjacket in place. Of all the episodes they produce in the second season, they are the most proud of this one. And they are blown away by what they've discovered, and so am I. It's on True TV, coming up this Friday, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern. Tell everyone you know about this. Get them to tune in and to take notes and research this information. This has never been on television before. This is bombshell. FEMA camps are real. They are confirmed. These things are going up everywhere. You go back to Rex 84 in 1986 in congressional hearings where they admitted that they were setting up camps in the name of illegal aliens, but really they're for the American people. This is a very, very deep program and groundbreaking information. So tell everyone you know, the FEMA camps have been exposed. Conspiracy theory. You won't believe what you don't know. The all new season on True TV. By exposing these camps, we can stop this Hitlerian takeover of our country. Even in 1944 and 1945 in the United States and England, it was called a conspiracy theory to talk about Hitler and death camps. Imagine if people in the mid-1930s would have exposed this evil. Hitler couldn't have gotten away with what he did. We're here, catching them with their pants down. True TV, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern. Details at InfoWars.com. I am very proud to be involved with this production. This is powerful, groundbreaking developments that is really scaring the establishment. Ventura, myself, and others have been through all sorts of harassment bringing you this information. I just hope that it even makes it on TV. We are pinching ourselves that we're not dreaming that this is actually going to make it on television. So we're crossing our fingers. We'll be watching. I hope you're watching. Coming up this Friday night, 9 p.m. Central, True TV. Premieres Friday, November 12th, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. Okay, we're doing the search term today because I went with Governor Ventura to Homeland Security Facility set up for families. They went and confronted two different congressmen who wrote the legislation to formalize it. Uh, they talked to former FBI agent about the threat fusion center spying on the citizens. The MIAC report and Homeland Security reports that we broke. Citizen activists that are fighting it. This is the first time ever... And I've talked to a lot of the crew that they believe it's the most powerful, if not the second most powerful. They got the big JFK episode with the deathbed confession and E. Howard Hunt coming up next week. Uh, this is powerful, powerful info tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern, True TV. And we've got links to True TV up at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Everything is starting to come out uh, right now. Other incredible news coming up after Tyrell leaves us in about 45 minutes. Nation states are dead, EU chief says. The belief that countries can stand alone is a lie and an illusion. This is the same guy saying world government is now here. Uh, they have destroyed the world currencies by design. It is all happening. Max Kaiser coming up to discuss that. Okay, uh, going now to Tyrell Ventura, who's made several films in his own right, documentaries. Uh, also, uh, one of the great researchers and, and producers uh, with last season and this season, uh, Tyrell, uh, it is good to have you here with us today. Thank you for having me back, Alex. It's always a pleasure being on your show. So much is going on. So much uh, is, is uh, happening. Uh, I've got the bullet points here that we're able to reveal. I just want to read these on air. Thousands of FEMA coffins removed from Georgia storage yards minutes before Jesse Ventura and myself arrived to film them. 
Congressman who co-sponsored uh, authorizing FEMA camp says U.S. government centers, quote, have happy children in them. You can't make that up. Uh, FEMA camp bill co-sponsored uh, repeatedly ducks TV cameras. TV crew finds locked doors, double fences, escape warnings, and Homeland Security residential facility. I was there with your father. Officials will neither confirm or de deny American citizens are being held. Fusion centers are popping up all over America to spy on ordinary citizens, says ex-FBI whistleblower. Fusion Center spokesman Lance Clem admits that domestic intelligence gathering centers have no oversight. We police ourselves, says Clem. This is groundbreaking, Tyrell. It's truly amazing, Alex, that we, we were, I mean, I'm so excited to get this episode on the air because it, I, I truly, I'm, as far as I know, this is the first time anything in mainstream media has really presented an honest, real look uh, at, at this, this kind of problem that the fusion centers and FEMA camps and all of that's coming, you know, that, that are popping up around the country. And, and uh, I'm excited as hell to have it on TV. And I thank you again for all of your help uh, in, in uh, helping us get this episode put together and, and uh, get it on the air for people to see and then people to realize that this is, this is reality. This is, not, this is not fiction. This is not us pontificating. Uh, and what could be. These things exist. We went and filmed them with our cameras. You know, they're real. They're out there. And, uh, and it's, it's chilling. It's very chilling. It is. I traveled quite a bit with uh, your father, Governor Ventura, uh, and, 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 of course, he traveled even a lot more. Where do we start uh, giving people a, 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 a prelude uh, to what's coming up tomorrow night? I mean, what do you think of the hour-long episode as the most powerful info? I think, truthfully, the most powerful info that, that really struck me when I was watching it uh, is not only seeing them live in person, but also just the simple fact that the, the two congressmen that, that we confronted about the bill, I, I don't even think they had any idea it was in there. They were just told to co-sponsor this bill and, and follow orders and, and do your job. They had no clue. That the, that the thing is even in the bill. And, and so it just shows that they use the uh, ineptness uh, and the, and the uh, yeah, frankly, uh, uh, idiocy of, of, of these, old, these elected officials and, and just tell them how to vote and tell them what to put in their bills, and they just go along with it. Why? Because they want to get reelected the next year. Well, and, 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 it, and it's chilling, you know. Well, I'd made three films on FEMA camps previous to my fourth film, and everything we talked about was reverse engineered from parts that have been declassified of Rex 84 and uh, the type of camps our government set up in third world countries they control. But we said that they are old sports stadiums. And we've since been to sports stadiums in Chicago where they trained to put citizens in them. We knew that they were prisons. Uh, we knew that it was, uh, uh, the, you know, the cover was for immigrants, but it was really for everybody. That even came out in the Houston Chronicle. But then to read the Emergency Centers Act, it states... You know, that it's for families, yeah. it's for medical care, it's for homeless people. You know, we're going to lock you up at night, and we've got to have it, these all over the country. I, I mean, I mean it's just, so just like in Nazi and Germany. The discretion and how they use these camps is completely at the discretion of Homeland Security. It doesn't say what they can't use them for. It doesn't say what, you know, they're supposed to be used for. It just is completely at the discretion of Homeland Security. Exactly. And, and that's and, truly frightening. And that's where I was going with it, is that in Nazi Germany, they didn't say we're taking you to a slave camp or a death camp. Exactly. They said we're taking you to a, a living center to be safe. Yeah, a happy, a happy fun village. <laughs> you know, no, it's, 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 it's horrible. It, 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 it truly, it, 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 it shocked my, my father, it shocked me. You know, we'd always heard about these things, and, and you know, you don't really, you, you can't, you don't get a good feeling until you're standing in front of one, and, and you see it. You know, and you realize, my God, this is real. This is happening right now. Well, Tyrell. And, and you know, it, it's extraordinary. It is. What the mainstream media has done is they cherry pick straw men. They go out and show camps that aren't camps and then say no camps are real. That'd be exactly. like if I went to Antarctica and said, I'm looking for giraffes, and there are no giraffes in Antarctica on the bottom of the world, so giraffes don't exist. Or if I went to the Sahara Desert and said, I don't see any penguins, so penguins don't exist. Well, I, I would need to go you know, to Antarctica to find penguins. I need to go to, 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 to Africa to find a giraffe or an African elephant or a lion. So that's how they do this. You guys go to real admitted FEMA camp emergency centers where they admit it could be for citizens, political dissidents, illegal aliens. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's admitted, and this is so groundbreaking. And 
Look, I mean, and, I remember. And you, go ahead. you can see the chain too. I mean, you can see how it's going to go down, and 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 I hopefully, I mean, we, I believe we did a really good job of presenting this in the show. Is that you see the the chain and how it all connects together? You know, with fusion centers to gather all the information and find out who the people are that they don't like, find the distance, find you know your gun owners, your activists. Your, you know, they, they compile all that information. And then they use that information then to spread out. So when the takeover does happen, uh, you know, under the guise of a national security threat or whatever, uh, they have that information sitting there. They feed it out to the to the military, police, things like that. And then they have the camps built for where they're going to send you. And you can see the direct line. And 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 it's it's shocking to me that they, well, no, it's not shocking to me that the the, the media ignores this or brings up straw man arguments because a half of your you know media today if not more than half are completely just follow the party line i don't want to get fired you know weak you, you know journalists who, who you know i don't i wouldn't even call them journalists uh and the other half are probably you know in on it with the status quo and the corporate influence and then the true you know corporate fascism that we live in in this country powerful statements all true tyrell ventura our guest let's come back and talk more about this episode this is groundbreaking uh, information. Uh, again, I'm Alex Jones. The search term today is FEMA camps. Type it into Google over and over again. Let's make it number one. You always do. I salute you.